What's up everyone, my name is High Blaster and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to get gem gems as a beginner. But yeah, like if you guys are here for those alt account things, you can just log off, you know, like I'm not a alt account guy, you know, I'm not gonna go to the AFK zone with my, you know, 69 accounts and be like, oh, I'm gonna stay here for, you know, 24 hours and this, that, no. I'm not gonna be that guy so if you actually want to know those methods there are other videos on youtube you can watch those this video is only for those people who actually want to have fun in the game and as a beginner you want to earn gems so yeah the first method is actually completing the storyline because like as a beginner you don't really have completed it and if you have completed the storyline then you are not a beginner like in every there are like six chapters and an infinity mode. Infinity mode does not give you gems, but every chapter has like two, uh, a normal mode and a hard mode. And every time you complete it for the first time, you get like 110 gems or something. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So this is like six, six, 12, and then like one, two, three, four, and five. Five and 12, 60. So like you can do the math, you're gonna get a lot of gems. Alright, so like the second method is quests. So every day, like you have like four things. Like this VIP thing, you have to get it. Like it's uh, for like 299 Robux something. I got it because like I wanted it. And uh, so like you, if you go to the daily one, you get like 70, 40, 40, 130, 80 and then 500. Like you're gonna get more than 500 gems from only this part every day. And the weekly one is like bonkers. Like if you complete the weekly quest, you get like 2,000 gems. And infinite, you're gonna get like 900, 900? Nah, like it really changes like this part, like 30 waves, like if it's 30 waves, then it's 300. And if it's 15 waves, like, like this one, the mob city, it's gonna be 200. It really changes like every day. So we have to see, but like you get like 900 gems maximum and 600 gems minimum daily from infinite and yeah the quest one is not really that good but still you're getting like those extra spare gems and yeah this is uh the quest method you should actually you know engage in the game actively to get those gems the third method is the afk now now i know i know there is no and i mean there is no alt account here Imagine you are a school student or you are a university student and you just go to, you know, let's just say you go to school, okay? It's gonna be like, what, six to eight hours? So when you're in school, let's say you have your computer in your house, like in your room. Keep this on and like every 90 seconds, I guess, you're gonna get around four to six gems. Like four gems if you do not have the VIP thing and six gems or something like or eight gems i'm pretty sure like if you are a vip and if you ha also have premium it's gonna be like three x warnings earnings sorry sorry for that uh three x earnings so yeah when you know when you're afk you come back from the school from eight hours you're gonna get like a good you know 1k gems so yeah keep you know get your time into good use and you can you know afk and get the gems The last method is challenges. Now, for to actually play the challenges, you have to be a certain level. I do not remember the level. I'm pretty sure it was like level 10 or level five. Uh, you can uh, look out for that yourselves. And every time, like every hour, you're gonna get like a challenge like this for 30 gems. And these both are the same. And see, like here it is 130 gems. And this one, it's like 30 gems. So that's like 130, 60, 60, uh, 160 and 190. That's like close 200 gems per hour. So you can actually get you know, a lot of gems from challenges too. So yeah, this is these are all the methods that you can actually, you know, earn gems. And actually I'm gonna go for like all those alt account things. You won't be able to, you know, love it. In a game, you should actually have fun because like if you're actually having alt accounts and everything you won't be having fun and when you actually summon your units and let's say you get like uh, a legendary unit or a mythical unit you won't be able to have fun 
like you know you, you won't be proud of yourself you'll be like eh, it's okay you should actually be proud of yourself because these all actually got it like from the legit things and i'm actually proud of these units i actually keep them as my kids so yeah if you guys actually love this video please like and subscribe and i'm gonna bring anime defender videos like every two days yeah i'll see you guys later peace out